こんにちは。Do you like creme brulee?I always get excited when I crack the caramel on top.If you are like me, I think you will like today's pancakes.So let's get started. Japanese pancakes will shrink as they cool, so we are going to make the vanilla sauce first, then bake the pancakes. I've got one egg yolk in a bowl here. Add one and a half tablespoons of sugar to it, whisk immediately and quickly, because the egg yolks start to absorb sugar and get lumpy. Once combined well, add one tablespoon of cornstarch. Then mix to combine. If you don't have cornstarch, you can use all purpose flour instead. The texture of the sauce will be slightly different but still tasty. My Japanese vanilla extract is the type that we need to add after the sauce is cooked, but if you what you are using should be added before cooking, add it now. Put a half cup of milk into a small pot and heat it up until just before it starts boiling. Then pour into the egg mixture in two parts, mix to combine. You shouldn't add it all at once, otherwise, the egg might cook and become lumpy. Pour and strain back into the pot. Then cook on medium heat. Keep stirring constantly until the sauce gets thickened. Once the sauce is cooked, Trans to a clean bowl. Add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and stir to combine. The silky vanilla custard sauce is ready. Okay, so let's move on to the pancakes. There is another video where I explain the detailed tips for baking Japanese pancakes. The link is in the description box below, so please check it out if you want to know more. Here, I'll explain the process more briefly. Add 2 tablespoons of milk to 2 egg yolks, then mix to combine. Mix a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and 3 tablespoons of flour, stir to combine. Put 2 egg whites into another bowl, add 2 tablespoons of sugar in 3 parts. Whip it until the meringue gets stiff peaks. Add the meringue into the egg mixture, folding gently from bottom to top. Then pipe the batter into a preheated pan, put the lid on, then bake for about 3 to 5 minutes on each side or until they get golden. While the pancakes are baking, make sure you have some sugar ready that will be sprinkled on top and caramelized. Once your pancakes are ready, Transfer to a plate, then pour as much sauce as you like over the pancakes. Cover the top with a thin layer of sugar. I use granulated sugar this time, but you can use your favorite sugar. My favorite sugar for caramel is cassonat, which is French raw sugar. Take your time, making sure that the tip of the torch flame is just touching the sugar. You don't need to be in a hurry, just burn slowly with a slightly smaller flame. Arrange your favorite fruits on the side if you'd like, then your pancakes are ready to serve. The best part is here. Crunchy bitter caramel, silky sweet vanilla custard, and fluffy airy pancakes. It's delicious. Please enjoy as soon as they are ready, otherwise the pancakes will start collapsing. I would say this is not something for your everyday breakfast, 
but it's perfect for a special occasion. You can even enjoy it in the afternoon or anytime you are craving it. You can find this detailed recipe on my blog, as always, I'll leave the link in the description box below. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, it always means a lot. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Arigato and sayonara. Bye!